This video, recorded in Chile in April 2023, captures a crane collapsing due to an incorrectly calculated load. Modern cranes are equipped with numerous warning systems, making it nearly impossible to tip them if operated correctly. Notice that the right side track dips first even when the crane isn't moving. This instability was caused by shifting ground, leading to the loss of load. Interestingly, this situation isn't the operator's fault. Ensuring proper ground conditions falls under the customer's responsibility. As an operator, I can't perform a compaction test myself and must rely on the customer to have conducted it. When venturing into remote natural areas, it's wise to avoid provoking wildlife. In India, some tourists attempted to play with a wild elephant and ended up agitating the animal, which began chasing them. Despite the elephant's clear signals to be left alone, the tourists continued to taunt it. The elephant's behavior was a defensive response rather than aggression. The tourists were fortunate, as elephants in India are known for their aggressive tendencies, making this encounter particularly risky. Today's story transports us to the sun-soaked shores of New Smyrna Beach, Florida, renowned for its stunning blue waters and picturesque views. This popular destination attracts beachgoers and tourists from around the globe, whether they're looking to sunbathe, surf, or simply enjoy themselves. The waters near the shore are filled with jet skis, hoverboards, and small boats, adding a lively and entertaining atmosphere to the beach. However, alongside its charm, the beach has its dangers. It is home to a formidable predator, the great white shark, an apex predator with a bite powerful enough to slice through a surfboard. Weighing over a thousand kilograms and with a torpedo-shaped body, these sharks are the most frequent attackers in the area. Though they primarily hunt seafood, they can become dangerous if humans encroach too closely. Jacqueline, Sarah, Tom, and Brad had set out on a small yacht for a two-night adventure just off the beach. They thought a double date at sea would be a delightful change. Despite Jacqueline's concerns about sharks, her friends were dismissive. Come on, Jackie, Brad said. It's been a year since the last shark attack. We'll be fine. Jacqueline reluctantly agreed, and soon she forgot her worries. The group enjoyed their time swimming and having fun. The first night passed without incident, and after a meal, they threw some leftover steak overboard. Unbeknownst to them, the vibrations from the meat caught the attention of a nearby female shark, who, mistaking the sound for an injured seal, was drawn to their boat. The next morning, after a leisurely start in their makeshift bedrooms, essentially two mattresses on opposite sides of the boat, they celebrated with wine and dancing on the deck. Jacqueline, having opted for less alcohol, danced energetically. Brad, preparing to head back to shore, asked, Hey man, is there any steak left? Tom responded, Yeah, a good bit. Want some? Tom then tossed a piece of steak into the water, prompting Brad to leap in after it. He missed the meat but made a big splash before resurfacing. Tom then announced a game, 
Whoever could catch a piece of steak in their mouth would win $500. The competition began, with Tom tossing more steak into the water. Jacqueline managed to catch a piece, returning to the boat to claim her prize. After receiving her reward, she playfully pushed Tom overboard and said, Game's still on. She then grabbed some leftover steak and looked around for Sarah, noticing her absence. Where's Sarah? Jacqueline asked, raising an eyebrow. Brad turned around and noticed the woman he had heard just moments ago was no longer there. He let out a nervous laugh before ducking his head underwater, trying to see if she was hiding to play a prank. As he looked down, he spotted something moving swiftly beneath the surface. The creature swam straight for a moment, then veered upward and headed directly toward him. Brad suddenly realized he was face to face with a shark, its mouth wide open as it closed in. His scream was muffled by the water as his head remained submerged. A second later his head was gone while the rest of his body was catapulted through the air. Tom and Jacqueline watched for a second as the body stabilized and began filling the water with blood. They realized that his head was gone. Tom frantically swam towards the boat while Jacqueline, frozen in terror, screamed loudly. Just as Tom reached the boat and clung to its side, Jacqueline saw the shark's fin cut through the water, heading straight for them. Before Tom could lift himself out, the creature sank its jaws into his thigh, locking in and pulling its sharp dagger-like teeth, cutting through the flesh, ripping it down to the bone. Tom screamed as he clung to the boat for dear life while the shark pulled him along. With his grip on the boat, the shark dragged it too, propelling them toward the beach. Jacqueline, in sheer panic, reached out to Tom, but the terror in his eyes froze her in fear. The shark suddenly stopped, causing the boat to jerk violently. The impact struck Tom's head, knocking him out cold and sending Jacqueline overboard. As she fell into the water, she noticed the boat continuing to drift away due to its momentum. Desperately, she swam toward the shore, reassuring herself that it wasn't too far. She cried out for help and, once she reached the shore, attracted the attention of nearby locals. She survived, but the others were not so fortunate. The story's lesson is clear, in a high-stakes encounter, the great white shark will prevail. In a close call, the driver of a moving van leapt from the vehicle after it unexpectedly caught fire on a Tuesday morning. The incident happened in the city when the driver noticed flames spreading and quickly jumped out. After the driver escaped, the van continued to travel a short distance before crashing into an oncoming vehicle and coming to a stop. Initial reports indicate that the van was fueled by a gas cylinder. The police and fire brigade arrived shortly thereafter and extinguished the fire. This dramatic footage, taken on August 26, 2023, in Gujarat, India, shows a hydraulic crane lifting a massive construction truck at the Candler port. Although the truck was nearly fully raised onto the ship, things did not proceed as smoothly as they appeared.
the two front slings were attached to what looked like engineered lifting points using a vertical lift, while the center sling was choked on a non-engineered point. This setup not only reduces lifting efficiency due to the choked sling, but also places minimal weight on the two front slings. Ideally, two additional slings should have been used at the rear corners. Thanks for watching. If there's anything you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe.